Good evening. I can assume that you're on your way to the Moon Bay Diner, correct? Ah, I apologize. I am not one for pleasantries at the beginning of these conversations. Unfortunately, it's not something that is... needed. I call you, I give you an update, I ensure that you reviewed the match's file, and then you go about your day and your date. Trust me, it's nothing against you. Simply how I enjoy hand simply how I enjoy handling business. Thank you for understanding. Now, are you on your way to the Moon Bay Diner? Excellent. As you know, that's where you're going to be meeting your match, and you should have received the email with his proper file. Can I assume that you read over it? I see. Well, just to make sure that the information is thoroughly implanted in your brain, I'm going to review a few key aspects of it. Not that I don't believe that you looked over it, simply re-establishing. Would that be alright? Excellent. You will be meeting one Rosso Ramos at the Moon Bay Diner. He's the alpha of the local werewolf pack. Yes, and before you have any concerns, he is a level 1 monster. The lowest and introductory level. And he has excellent character witnesses from both members of his pack and general figures of the community. For all intents and purposes, he is an excellent representation of what a pillar of the community should look like. Yes, exactly. According to his file, this would be the first date that he would be going on. Up until now, he's been outright ignoring any matches that we've been sending his way. So that should bode well for you, all things considered. At the very least, he probably finds you attractive. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> Regardless. Additionally, in his file it states that he is an excellent leader, goal-orientated, focused, all of which excellent traits within an alpha of a pack. If things go well, I could definitely see the two of you being very happy together. Now, I do hope that the date goes well, and I do expect an update within the next 24 hours on what occurred. Excellent. Good night. I hope that the date goes well. Bye bye Hey, Miss Mary. Evening, boys. Go, go, have a seat. Are you sure this is where they asked to meet? This doesn't seem like the kind of place a delivery would be made. You'd think they'd know better. I mean, it's not like we've ever tried to deliver anywhere other than Shades. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely supposed to be here. Mm. Ah, there they are. Now, I'm going to go get a slice of pie while you talk to them. Hi, I'm Russell, owner of Shades Auto Repair. I was told that you had a shipment that was supposed to be delivered to my shop. If you could hand them over, we need to get back to the shop before it gets too late. Um, I'm sorry. Are you not the delivery person? Wait, hold on. A blind date? Huh? Uh...
Hey, Vi Vincent, where are you going? Good luck, boss. Don't worry, I'll lock up shades. What the f- <clears throat> I'm going to kill him. <clears throat> I- I am so sorry about all of this. There's a bit of- there's a bit of a confusion. May I? Thank you. You know, I had overheard the guys in the shop talk about waiting to set me up on some blind date, but I <laughs> I didn't expect them to surprise me fully like that. Just wanted to apologize again for my rudeness earlier. I I just didn't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't apologize. I just ah uh... here. Let's try this again. I just I wish I was a bit more cleaned up than I am right now. I just got done working on a car and I was told there were some parts that would have been here. I, which on hindsight doesn't make sense why parts would come into a cafe, but that's besides the point. Hi, I'm Russell. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Honestly, this, uh, this wouldn't be the first time they've tried something like this. Although I must say, it's the first time they've gotten other people involved though, but they're constantly trying to get me out of the shop. Apparently I'm too invested in my own work, <laughs> which I guess is what led me here. I mean, I can't really help myself. I've put so much of myself into the shop and with everything constantly changing, I just need to make sure everything's running smoothly. I mean, yeah, like I said, nowadays with everything changing, cars now come with so many computers, black boxes and stuff like that that really limits you. It's not like back in the day when I was younger, working on cars was so much easier. See, I just, I just like turning wrenches and working on cars, it's not my fault. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm um, I'm a bit of a grease monkey. Yeah, did you know? My old man used to have this old 1969 Mercury Cougar that it, he had me break down down to like the bare frame. Then after that, he just had me rebuild it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, he really made me do that. Let me tell you, that old man regretted it for months after. <laughs> you know, the best part is I didn't tell him this, but somehow I ended up with an extra part. Parts. Yeah, two bolts. Yeah, I just tucked them away in my pocket when he wasn't looking. <laughs> I carry them around as my, uh, yeah, my good luck charms and in memory of him. Yeah, a lot of what I do, I owe to him. His shop, his pack. <laughs> he left all of that for me to take care of and maintain. And so, I guess, maybe all of that accounts for me being too invested in my own work. But, why wouldn't I be? It was, after all, our passion, and I gotta do right by him. My staff, my pack... They all rely on me to know what to do. Even... Even if I don't have a clue half the time. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't mean to overshare like that. Really stepped on my own tail, didn't I? <laughs> um, I didn't even ask if you wanted any... Anything to drink. Coffee? Tea? All right, one sec. Hey, Mary. Yes, yes, I heard you. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> you gotta love Mary. She's basically like the matriarch on this side of town. And for people like me. It's a haven for night-dwelling monsters to come and enjoy some peace and quiet. And why they're closed on a full moon. <laughs> yeah, you'd never notice. <laughs> Anyways... 
And so, now you know how I got wrapped up in all of this. Now I gotta ask, how did they even convince you? Now, okay, I, I don't mean to sound weird, but you don't exactly smell like anyone in my pack. A dating service for monsters? But, wait, you aren't... Oh, shit. They actually made that a thing? Huh. I just figured people would be too bent out of shape for something like that. Hey, people act how they choose at the end of the day. It's just nice to... To know something like this is around. Otherwise... I may not have met you, right? For the two lovebirds, enjoy. Huh? No, 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 we, we aren't, I, uh, um, and there she goes. <laughs> uh, um, I, I have to tell you. This has been the most relaxed I've been in, I'd say, a long time. I can't even remember the last time that I went on a date, or hell, really just took the time for me. It's, it's been really nice. But, if I'm being honest, I'm not really looking for anything. I appreciate my pack looking out for me. And you really are great. But right now, just isn't the time for something like that. <laughs> Even if you make a great date. I am really sorry this didn't go the way that you probably wanted it to. But I'm glad I've gotten the chance to meet you. It's, it's been nice to be able to talk to somebody that isn't expecting me to solve their problems or isn't expecting me to change their oil without removing the old oil. <laughs> don't, don't ask. Sometimes customers can really, really be dumb. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can be friends? I'm going to have, I'm, yeah, I'm going to force those knuckleheads to delete my account with that service. But, if you'd like... We can exchange numbers and hang out sometime. On purpose this time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, no, you see the poster on the wall over there? That's actually my favorite band. Looks like, um, yeah, looks like they're going to play here in a few weeks. If you're feeling up for it, maybe you, me, and some others can all go together and Get you properly introduced to the family. Yeah? <laughs> I'm glad you think it's a great idea. I... Uh, no. Now who in the world... Ugh, it's Vincent. I swear the audacity on this one. Calling up to his books at earlier. You're on speaker. What did you do and how much damage? <laughs> See? Uh, about that... So, you still have the keys to the shop. Uh, are you serious? Alright, I'll start making my way back. Let me just walk my surprise date back home, and I'll... Are you sure? It can be dangerous at night. I trust the area, but still. Mm. Alright. Only because you insist. I can probably convince her. Alright, Vince. I'll be there soon. Don't... Just... Don't break a window. No promises! This guy... Ugh. I... I gotta go make sure he doesn't mess up my shop. Please. Shoot me a message when you get home, okay? Alright. Again, it was a pleasure meeting you. 
and don't worry about paying. I got this. Hopefully, I'll I'll get to see you soon. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. <laughs>